Now let us start the drum truck first problem. One company has six trucks to take wood from one side to the other of the industry. Each truck is loaded one after the other immediately and moved towards the weighing scale. Both loader and the scale have fee for that is first in first out for the service. After weighing the truck travel around and deposit on the industry. Once this is done the truck joins the loader queue. End of the simulation is at 76. This is also an important line. The distribution for the loading time, weighing time as well as travel time arrives at follows. There is a diagram which is given here. Now calculate the total busy time of the loader as well as busy time of the weighing scale, average loader utilization, scale utilization. Now you have to assume that there are five trucks are at the loader and one at the, the scale. So scale starts with zero. Now the diagram goes this way. Here you will be having weighing queue. In weighing queue, you will be oh, sorry. In loading queue, you will be having three things, and in loader, weighing queue as well as scale. Now initially they told five trucks are at the loader, three in the loading queue, two in the loader. Weighing queue will not have anything, and DT one will be that is the first one, that will be the scale. Now the diagram go the simulation table will go like this. Clock. LQ of T, L of T, WQ of T, W of T, loading Q, waiting Q, FEL, BL as well as BS. Clock initially starts with 0. LQ of T is number of members present in the loading queue. 3 are there, so 3. L of T, how many members are there in the loader? 2 are there, so 2. WQ of T, there is nothing here, so it will give you 0. W of T is DT1, so 1. In the loader queue, you will be having DT4, DT5 and DT6. Weighing queue, you will not have anything. So, dash. Now, FEL is nothing but DT2 and DT3 are at the loader, right? So, loading, EL. For loading, we mention as EL. EL of, that is 10. The first time given in the loading, 10, comma DT2. Since DT2 is here. Next, EL of 5, comma DT3. Next, EW. EW is nothing but the for the scale, DT1, right? So, you will be using 12. 12, comma, DT1. Initially, the clock value is 0. So, BL also 0, BS also 0. Next, which is the minimum value here in FEL? 5 is the minimum value. So, let us consider 5. Now, in the what happens is loading queue, one member of the loading queue move towards the loader. So, you will be having DT2 and DT4 here, whereas DT3 move towards the weighing queue. Now, here, so how many members in the loader? Loader will be having two members. Here, L of T, L of T will still have two members itself. Now, WQ of T, one member has come to the weighing queue. This is as it is. So, here will remain DT5 and DT6, members of the loading queue. Members of the weighing queue is nothing but DT3. Now, first, whichever we have not done any changes, you have to write as it is. That's the first one, EL of 10, comma DT2. Next, EL of 5. Add it with the next loading time, that is 5, and make it DT4. Next, EW of 12, comma DT1 will remain as it is. Now, here, BL is nothing but difference between the clock. 5 minus 0, it is nothing but 5 into 2, 10, plus the previous value of BL. So, 10. 5 minus 0, 5, plus the previous value of BS, it is 5. Next, which is the minimum value here? 5, I added, right? Along with that, I have to add this 5 also. So, it will be 10 here. Next, this is, now the next value is, which is the minimum value here? 10 is the minimum value. So, add this. Take that value, 10. Now you will be having here one uh, one member it, it is EL right so one member goes towards the loader so DT5 will move towards the loader so here will remain DT4 and DT5 so DT2 will come here so now how many members in the loader one Lo loading queue will have one members loaders will have two members again WQ of T will have two members and W1 of T same. So what is in the D, uh, weighing queue, loading queue will have only DT6 and the weighing queue will have DT3 as well as DT2. Now EL of 10 comma, 10 comma DT2 is there. Now that you have to new changes. Now add this 10 with the next value that is nothing but again 10. That is 20 comma DT5. 
and EL of 10, DT4 will remain as it is. EW of 12, DT1. Now again BL. Difference in the clock. 10 minus 5, 5. Into the previous value of L of T, 2. 5 into 2, 10. 10 plus 10, 20. Difference in the clock. 10 minus 5 plus the previous value. That is nothing but 10. Next, you, which is the minimum value here? 10 is the minimum value. So I will consider 10. Now, again one member goes from the EL, right? So you have to load another value. So here what will remain? Here you will be having value of DT6. Next here you will be having the value of DT5. Here DT4. And here DT1 as it is. So nothing will be remaining in the loading queue. Now loading queue will have 0. Here loader will still have 2 values. So 2. WQ of T will be having 3 members. Now here as it is. There is nothing in the queue. So dash. WQ of T will be having value of DT3, DT2 and DT4. Now, EL, EL of 20, DT5 will remain as it is. You have to do changes here. EL of 10 plus the next value. That is nothing but uh, 10, 50, uh, 10 plus this value. That is 15. So, you will be having 25 of DT6. Next, EW of 12, DT1 will remain as it is. Difference in the clock is 0. So, this the previous value will remain as it is next you have to see which is the minimum value 12 is the minimum value now this when it comes to ew the figure will be like this load up loading queue as well as skip Now, initially here there are DT6, DT5, DT3, DT2 and DT4. Here it is DT1. Now this iteration what happens is DT1 moves here. And here you will be having this one member which has come first will go here DT3. So now in the weighing queue you will be having only two members. When it comes to EW, LQ of T as well as L of T will remain in the previous state itself. So, previous value. Next, WQ of T, one members go towards this, one member go to this scale. So, here two members will be remaining. Here still one. Here dash, previous value itself. For loading, you will not have to touch at all. Now, what will happen here? DT2 and DT4. EL of 20, DT5 as it is. EL of 25 comma dt6 also as it is ew value add it with the next ew that is nothing but weighing time value that is 12 so it will be 24 comma dt2 and you have to when you are calculating for ew you have to calculate also for alq value travel time is already given that is 60 60 plus the clock value 12 so it is 72 comma dt1 difference in the clock is 2 2 into 2 is 4 4 plus 20 is nothing but 24 and here you will be having difference in the clock is 2 plus the previous value you will get 12. Next which is the minimum value 20 is the minimum value. Now what happens is you have to move one member again. So here it is 0. Now what loaders one value in the loader move towards the weighing scale that is DT5 will move here. So here still here you will be having only one value dt6 that is. Next in the wq of t you will be having three values again. And w1 of scale will remain as it is. Now here you will be having dt2, dt4 and dt5. Now el of you el of 20 comma dt5 is it. dt6 is also there. You have reached the maximum level of 6. That is nothing but only 6 trucks are available. So what will happen now is you will not have to calculate any further EL values. So here it will be EL of 25 comma DT6, EW of 24 comma DT2, ALQ of 72 comma DT1 will remain as it is. Difference in the clock is 8. 8 into 2 is 16. 24 plus 16 it is 40. Difference in the clock is 8. 12 plus 8 is 20. 
Next, again here, check which is the minimum value. 24 is the minimum value. So take it, 24. 24 is EW, so this two remains as it is. One member of the weighing scale will move towards the, uh, weighing Q will move towards the scale. So here it will be 2. Here it will be 1. The first member DT2 gets eliminated. So DT4 and DT5. EL remains as it is, 25, DT6. Next EW, add it with the next loader member time, that is 12. 24 plus 12, it is 36, DT. DT3. Next is ALQ of 72, DT1 as it is. Next, another ALQ value you have to add, that is the next value, 100 plus the clock value, 124. Comma DT two difference in the clock is four four plus one four into one is four plus uh, forty it is forty four and difference in the clock is four so here it is twenty four which is the minimum value here twenty five is the minimum value so twenty five this is nothing but E L. So here you have to load. That time again which uh, DT six was here right now this DT six will also now this DT6 will also go here. So you will be having here nothing, 0. Next, 3 members. Here, 1 itself, here dash. Now DT4, DT5 and DT6 will be here. Now EW, DT6 is already found out. You cannot find the next EL value. So this gets eliminated and the rest you have to write as it is. 36, DT3. ALQ of... 72 comma dt1 alq of 124 comma dt2 next alq of next a no this is as it is sorry you have to find out el value so all the remaining you have to write as it is difference in the clock is 1 1 into 1 is 1 so here it is 45 next difference in the clock is 1 24 plus 1 it is 25 Here, again, you have to see which is the minimum value. 36 is the minimum value. This two will remain as it is because it is an EW value. One member from this will move towards the scale. So here, two. The figure will be like this. Nothing is remaining in the queue. Here, you, uh, you will be having DT5 and DT6. In the scale, you will be having DT4. Here, already DT1, DT2. And DT3 have come out. So you will be having here left with only two things that is DT5 and DT6. Now EW value you have to add with the next loading time value 36 plus 16 that is 36 plus 16 will give you 52 comma DT 52 comma DT4 ALQ values ALQ of 72 comma DT1 as it is ALQ of 124 comma DT2 is also as it is ALQ of next value 40 plus 36 76 comma DT3 hmm. so here you have uh, again difference in the clock it is 36 minus uh, 25 it is 11 11 uh, when you are uh, multiplying it with 0 it will be the same so here previous value will remain as it is now 36 minus uh, 25 is 11 plus add it with 25 here you will get 36 itself next which is the minimum value 52 is the minimum value this 2 it is EW value so this 2 as it is now 2 1 members go towards the scale so here it will be 1 now this will remain as it is only dt6 will remain because one member has already moved now calculate again ew value ew of 52 comma dt4 is i know add it with the next value that is 52 plus 12 will give you 64 comma dt5 now alq of 72 comma dt1 as it is alq of 124 comma dt2 that is also as it is alq of 76 comma dt3 this is also as it is next value alq of next loading time is 40 plus 52 that is nothing but next travel time is 50 plus 42 it is nothing but 92 comma 
dt4. Now, uh, difference in the clock, it is nothing but 52 minus, uh, 52 minus 36 will give you 16. 16 is a difference, uh, but uh, since you're multiplying it with 0, the previous value will remain as it is. Difference in the clock is 16. 16 plus 36, it is 52. Next, the minimum clock, minimum time is Now, which was the minimum value? Minimum value was 64. So, you will have to write here 64. Now, 64 is a minimum value. That is also EW value. So, this 2 will remain as it is, 0, 0. Next, this one will move towards the scale. So, here you will be, here also you will be left with 0. Now, after uh, being with 0, so here it will be 1. So, both will remain dash and both will be having dash and dash. Now, here, FEL, EW value, correct? So, EW of 64, add it with the next value, that is 16. 64 plus 16, it is 80. 80 comma, DT, what was that? 5. So, here you will give DT 6. All the ALQ values, first ALQ values, you know, you have tried as it is. 72 comma, DT 1. ALQ of 124, DT2. ALQ of 76, DT3. And ALQ of 92, DT4. Next, ALQ of 80 plus 64. 80 plus 64, it is 144. 144, DT5. Difference in the clock, 64 minus 52 will give you 12 years is your difference. So, 12 into 0, 0 is 0 itself. So, previous value will remain as it is. And 64 minus uh, 52, it is uh, 12. 12 plus 52, it is nothing but 64. Which is the minimum value? 72 is the minimum value. Now, 72 is a minimum value of ALQ. So, figure what happens is this DT1 which was hanging here will come directly to the loader. It will go to the loading queue actually but there is nothing in the queue, right? There is nothing in the loader also. So, do, so why to wait in the queue? To move directly towards the loader. So, here it is loader. Here it is loading queue. So, here DT1 will come here. Here there is nothing and here there is DT1. 6. Here DT2 and DT3 as DT3, DT4 and DT5. Now what has become? So 1, here in the queue there is nothing, so 0. But L of T will be having this DT1 value. Loader is 0, this is also 1. So what happens is, here there is nothing, Q is nothing, both the queue have nothing to do it. Now, EW of 80 comma dt6 will remain as it is whereas AL, alq value of 72 comma uh, alq of 124 comma dt2 remaining everything other than this write everything as it is alq comma 76 comma dt3 alq of 92 comma dt4 and alq of 144 comma dt5 all this as it is whereas this value is there no 72 you have to add el because you have loaded the value of dt1 so el of 72 this value plus the loading time value 10 so 72 plus 10 you will be having 82 comma dt1 difference in the clock 72 minus 64 it is 8 so 8 into 0 it is 0. So, here it is 45. 64 plus 8, 72. Next, minimum value is 76. So, now end of the simulation is 76 and here you get minimum value of 76. So, 76. 76 is also an ALQ value. So, next member of the queue gets loaded up. So, which was the next? DT3. DT3 comes to the loader. So, here you will be having 0 itself. Nothing in the queue. Loader will have 2 
this will be zero itself you're not nothing is in the weighing queue this is one this is dash and dash now eat all every all the things will remain as it is dt6 alq of 124 comma dt2 don't write this value alq of 92 comma 1 dt4 alq of 144 comma dt5 el of 82 comma dt1 and next el of this 76 add it with the clock not clock the loading time 10 76 plus 10 it is 86 comma dt3 3 value no so add yeah dt3 so now what remains again difference in the clock 4 4 into 1 previous value of l of t 4 into 1 is 4 45 plus 4 is 49 difference in the clock 4 72 plus 4 76 see end of the simulation this this itself is your simulation table now there is one formula total busy time total busy time of the server server scale or the scale you can write total busy time of the scale it is 76 bs which you have written bs the last value of bs 76 total busy time of the loader of the loader which you have written bl that is 49 now what you have to do the, you have to find utilization time utilization time of the loader that is average utilization time of the loader it is bl by 2 divided by total end time bl by 2 is 49 by 2 divided by total end time end time of the simulation they have given as 76 so you will have 49 divided by 152 which will give you 0 0.322 next average utilization of the server server scale this is bs servers busy time as well as uh, total end time that is 76 by 76 is equal to 1.